Hello everyone, welcome back to the Ottoman campaign. I'm Keb. I'm Perry. And we're ready to continue. I hope those chips are good. I want some. <laughs> I take that to mean, yes they're good and I won't share. Well, I might have dipped into my Stellaris snack stash from tomorrow, or for Ooh. tomorrow, and got myself a few chips. Do you plan to follow the um, live stream? It starts Before at the what, release? like... The live yeah, stream I'll starts... Be... Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> starts at like 3 a.m., doesn't it? Your time? Yeah, I will be asleep when it starts. I'll probably be asleep for a good portion of it, actually. Um... I'm oh. glad, who knows? I found Austria's capital. The new capital. What's the new capital? The province of Goetz. Or how you, however you pronounce it. The, the, the only port city they start with. Oh, okay, the, the Adriatic port town? Yeah. And I can't get to... Oh, oh, alright. So in the, the way. Uh, yeah. No, I plan to watch as much of it as I can, but um, if I've done the math right, it still should go live about 9 a.m. my time. So I won't have much of my morning before I'll be able to, to dive in and get myself nuked by falling apart. No, I think it'll be 10 a.m. your time, actually. All right, maybe, maybe 10 a.m. on the metric system, but 9 a.m. is what I thought. <laughs> okay. Either way, it'll be hours before before Rail's awake, so I have plenty of time. <sighs> Poland, why did you have to take the one province I need? And I'm almost certain that if I... Yeah. Oh right, my navy sunk. I have to fix that. For those of you noticing that Keb just realized his navy sank, since his Navy sank to now is actually only about 12 minutes of real time. Keep that in mind if you loan him money in game. <laughs> what? Oh, Scotland was no longer allied to France. Okay. Scotland just lost the war to England. I wonder why. Apparently the alliance broke. This is my this is my sad face. You'll notice how different it is from my happy face. Let's see. Maria Theresa the second just took the throne of Austria. Hmm. Well, who was on the throne when you took Vienna from them? I don't even remember. Actually, I was thinking about that. It's a good thing for the rules to change um, allowing capitals to be taken because of the old system, the old you know, EU 2 and 3, you'd never get westernized that method. You'd have to grind all of Austria down. Oh, yeah. Well, I first have to isolate them. If you isolate the capital, then you can take it. That was the old rule set. Yeah. It didn't still take a while. Oh, yeah. You notice how often we did that. Oh, wait, no, <laughs> sorry. You won't. But the only achievement I can remember that where that doing that was needed was if for, for the um, for the uh, English achievement where you have to own Paris. Yes. And you have to, and you have to surround Paris. I you just had to control Paris but not own it. I thought that, well, at least the original iteration was somewhat bugged in that regard. That might have been, I don't remember. It's been a while since I got that achievement. Oh, yeah. And, well, that's interesting. I just got a gift from Morocco. And Morocco con conquered the southern Spain again. Ah, of course, they. it's because I'm at war with uh, Aragon. What about like Gimli and Legolas? <laughs> I 
Moot, I have religious unity of 125. Oh, congratulations. If only that extra that extra overflow and uh, suppressed unrest even further. I'm thinking the naval the three native stances you have access to. Uh, this native coexistence policy is overpowered. Yeah, the one that prevents all rebellions. Yes. That is quite They're nice. Yeah, I don't have to worry about sending out any garrisons or anything like that. I mean, because the other one is... Um, well, I'll get the other two. Another one reduces the uprising chance by 50, but increases assimilation by 50, which is sort of nice. And the other one increases global settler rate by 20. I think not having to worry about the rebellions is just, just too freaking awesome. Yeah, but um, you do lose a fair bit of base tax from that. It is rather nice to actually get more development out of it, especially since you're going to keep the land in your case. Oh, that's right, because the simulation would increase the base tax value. Yeah. I think well, it's base I mean, tax anyway. I mean, I have the... Oh, good. I thought it was uh, rivalable again. I have the issue, though, that even if I could do that, I have this stupid autonomy floor. I'm trying to shepherd the Austrian army over to the one fort that Poland has, but they don't seem to cooperate. can't imagine why. I'm most sad about that. Why is Danzig? Oh, right. Boot. I finish off of the offensive tree with my next, my next purchase. Oh my goodness. What How much of that? Yeah, uh, Danzig, you know, that was independent. Yeah. Uh, they're willing to give uh, war operations and some cash. And they have a lot of cash. 1,400 ducats. So now you have a lot of cash. Well, Poland will get half of it because of their war participation, but still. I'll take that. And I'll repay my loan with it. Wait, loans can be repaid? <laughs> as long as you don't get a treasure barge. Hush you. <laughs> well, we haven't had that event for a while. Hush you. <laughs> Independent. Oh. Oh my. Georgia had a major collapse. A major collapse. They're down to two provinces. Oh wait, I can see you now. What did that happen? You're right. How much of... How much of me? I can see all the way to... Oh, right. Yeah. New scoop. Yeah. yeah. We had map exchange. I can see all of... In, in tri Chinese interior now. Yeah, I can see... Gen I can see Genoa and, Ven and Venice. Uh, surrounded by a sea of fog of war. Yeah, that because you got the Muslim maps, I think. And probably part of, at least part of them, maybe the Indian maps. That's all that again. Ah. Diplomats, I'll take that. Now sieging to roll down. Let's see. So that leaves Aragon, but how to invade Aragon? You have no navy. Ah. Well, the simplest solution is you don't. Yeah, I know. Let's see. I want this and this and this and this and this and that. <laughs> okay, that was just silly. <laughs> Anything?
thing to bring a smile. Even without, you. Oh, even without messing with with um, Aragon, we can still take quite a big chunk of territory here. We'll take that. Possible. Let's see. So, yeah. Night is now sieging along the French border. And why is France at war with both? Oh, okay. It looks like France finally decided they want their course. It took them long enough. Yep. Monarch suddenly getting a rave of bad events. No, can't afford. be able to defeat that navy of Aragons. Bah. Well, um, it, sank your, it sank your last one you sent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out just how many ships I'd need to build. That would be far too many. Ah, oh, well. I do have ticking war scores, so I'll still get more of that. Now, if you wage war with, with Hawaii, you could have a tiki war score. I bet you didn't think about that. I do now. The normal what the hell did I get myself into kind of thought. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, I can annex my largest vassal for almost 700 dipl diplomacy points. 700? Yeah, well, 648, but yeah. Yikes. Eighteen. Oh, yeah, that funky border with, uh, with the Tuscany. That straightened itself out. Yeah, that, that vassal has 54 development. Yeah, I can't see the Tuscans yet. You'll see them soon enough. Oh, I didn't realize no guy had eaten the uh, Golden Horde. They didn't. That territory, oh. that all that territory was actually belonged to Georgia until just recently. And then Georgia went, went split. Yep, the rebels. And all of that joined no guy. So they become quite the power. Yeah. So why am I losing war score? Who is? Oh, okay. Die, Austria. Please. Die and please. And so they did.
Well, the good news, the sun finally came out today. The bad news, I can no longer see anything in this room. Hooray. Uh, pardon the silly noises, folks. Certain blinds have to be closed. That's the way. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. Yeah, let's see. So, uh, I wonder. I want a chunk of Austria, but I'm just trying to decide if that's worth getting a collection of, I don't know, 30 countries? <laughs> would, it yeah. generate, would it generate 30 after the, you get Austria, or uh, were you going after Austria bring in a war with those 30 countries? Well, that's a good question, but like, I'll get countries like Bremen into the coalition. Bremen officially doesn't count as a country. I'll take all your money and all those provinces. Yep, yeah, we'll deal with that. Yum. Not to wait for the inevitable coalition. But that's fine. Yeah. Vienna's already fallen, so. Yeah, you did the tough part already. Oh, sad. Why sad? I sad. Austria was no, is no longer a valid rival. On the bright side, I have quite an impressive coalition against me. <laughs> well, that's fine too. I'm really not sure how I'm ever going to pay that loan off. I don't make enough gold to offset the value of the loan. Hundred percent over extension worth of Austrian provinces. Yummy. Not the first word that comes to mind. Sadly, the one pro I, I need one more province for my victory card. Let's see now. The coalition became how large? Coalition. Why do you Coalition now consists of the Knights, Ragusa, Bohemia, Bremen, Frankfurt, Lorraine, Magdeburg, Mainz, Salzburg, Switzerland, Ferrara, Milan, Naples, Savoy, Siena, Venice, Leech, and Mamluks. Uh, I just got my second victory card. Okay. Where? Control all of, all of Central Korea. <laughs> the game loves you. Well, I mean, at some point, destroying Korea is useful to me. Uh, where at? What are you... Uh... I feel like a... I feel like a baby. Your army's... your army limit's much bigger than mine, and your manpower blows mine out... blows mine away. 
Yeah, but you have to remember the Turkish ideas. What, do we want to be Byzantium with, but with mustaches? aware of that. Overextension adds quite a bit of corruption. Can you handle it? I'm currently running a deficit of 20 ducats a month. I'm trying to figure out what just... something just spiked my costs and I'm trying to figure out what. What did I do? I think it's actually just because of the overextension and the reduction that gives into trade. Oh well, I'll fix it eventually. We'll fix. All right, of course, and I also docked all my trade fleets. That uh, I'm having problems. Only, only with remembering stuff. Probably shouldn't cut army maintenance. Not with this coalition <laughs> potentially firing. Makes life a little more dangerous for you. Yeah. I can survive. Well, I'm not afraid of that. I might just have to try to find the smallest countries, like get countries like Bremen out of the coalition. Generally, you just have to get a few of them to leave, and then all, they all leave. Yeah, but part of that's be simply because they uh, their values their values are all very similar. So once one of them crosses the leave threshold, well, the rest are kind of there. Yeah, true. So it's, hey, Japan's about to unify. <laughs> we'll see. Hey, I could restore. I could. I can not renovate a pagoda, and that bureaucrats will lose five influence, and I'll lose four prestige. Or I can renovate the pagoda, bureaucrats gain five influence, I gain six prestige, and then I lose 420 gold. Since I am so awash in gold. There. The offensive tree is finished. You'll be sorry. Now we'll see. I'm still only bordering. I think the only one that could possibly gain land would be either the Mamluks or Venice. Well, I forgot that. Humanism. Humanism ideas. That, that, they, that triggers the um, province conversion events. The good ones or the bad ones? The bad ones, the one where they leave the faith. Whether you're heretic. Ah. Uh, because you're tolerant, ahead. right? You sounded very much like Martin there explaining the Blorg. <laughs> The Blorg are a happy people. Of course they are. 
All right, Jerkhan, you're coming. You're coming with us, whether you like it or not. Yep, overextension. That's quite a big swing in my income. Oh, you. You'll survive, though. I have faith in you. Oh, it's a 30 ducat swing, it seems like, at the moment. I have assassins ch chasing and you know, targeting you. I've, I don't want that money to be wasted. <laughs> Go raid some natives. Surely there are some countries that you can extort. Sadly, there aren't any, and don't call me Shirley. Well, even up here in the Kamchatka Peninsula, it's Miltech 9 and 10. What about Bu Buryatia or whatever on the no on the northern side? You mean the Ally Boy Rat with the 10 mil military tech? <laughs> okay. Well, they have 600, 670 ducats in their treasury at the moment. <laughs> yes, and they've got a very large reason why they're keeping that money for right now. <laughs> uh, I suppose I could... Uh, I could go pick on Mutapo. I could pick on Korea. I could come pick on the Ottomans. <laughs> They've shown no ability to defend themselves. Well, I'm weak at the moment, and I only have two allies. Well, three allies. Oh, right, I forgot. Persia is actually westernizing. I have to deal with that. Yeah, because if they succeed, India is going to flip real fast. Would you would you rather want that? Or do you want me to try to stop the westernizing wave? Well, it's it's six of one half dozen of the other. Or you know, if they don't flip, then I can kill them because I'm Ming. If they do flip, then I can flip, and then I can kill them because I'm Ming. <laughs> The, I mean, the power differential between Ming and any other country, any other single country in Asia is grotesque. Even with the limiters put on it. The Sultan becomes Khalifa. Yay. Hail Edrigan. Hail Edrigan. Well, 400 admin points are rather nice. Or you achieve the uh, college. Yeah. Oh, well, yes, and I have to make more states. Well, go ahead. The limit went up, so. Let's see. Where is that map called? So, to annex the one vassal, the big one there, take 14 years. Might as well get going on it. grows and grows and grows just in time for next time okay I well, guess we'll take a short break here see you in the next episode folks yes folks thanks for watching <laughs>